What's up friends? Today we're shooting a video and we're so excited we blocked out the time and power went out. There's no power in the building anywhere so I have a light Look at that setup. <laughs> ricocheting off of this wall. <laughs> You know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Jared and I, we are going about, you know, the steps of this video, and we are literally in the middle of exposing a screen. So, I have two options, and the first option's super ridiculous, so of course I'm gonna try that one first. Don't worry, we're gonna plug the exposure unit into Jonathan's car. Plug it in. <laughs> oh! Well, that didn't work. Okay, so there's good power to the building. Power's back on. <laughs> Just gathering my thoughts here, trying to figure out what the freak we're doing today. Hey, power's back on. Uh, so let me tell you real quick of the situation, why the power was out. It wasn't a car hit the telephone pole, power outage. So we have apartments upstairs and when that person in that apartment leaves the apartment, they shut off their power, right? Because, you know, their name is no longer on that account. Well, they also shut off power here. Explain that one anyways, you don't care. Hey, screens are burnt, they're in the cabinet. I still need to do some hardener and all that stuff, but we're gonna mix some ink. Yeah, let's get on it. <laughs> also, if you ever wanna hook up your exposure unit to your car and you actually think that'll work, it won't. So, yeah, figured that one out today. Okay, hey, we're on to the next step. We're gonna mix some ink. I'm gonna use a discharge base. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the clear core base and the opaque core base. Um, we're gonna add up those grams, and once we get that total, that's the amount of discharge base that we're gonna use um, for uh, mixing this ink. And then we'll add all the other pigments into that. Uh, we added those two up, and we got 344 grams and 0.85. So that's the amount of discharge base we're gonna put in the container. So with doing discharge, uh, what I do for my screen prep is I expose the screen, I dry it, then I post expose the screen, and then I put emulsion hardener on it just because discharge is a crazy ink and it, it'll eat through the emulsion if you don't have your exposure times dialed and if you don't do these extra steps. So this is what I do when I put on the hardener. I just drop a little on the screen like that. Take it and you wanna go over every square inch that you want hardened. Then we're gonna flip over on the back side. And then after that, Throw it right back in the drying cabinet. I just wanna show you guys the difference between a screen that has hardener and doesn't have hardener. This one that's darker, obviously, is the hardener, uh, the one we uh, put hardener on. This one over here, I have not done it yet, so I'm about to, but that's the difference. Trust me, you want it, you want it hard. Dang it, that's what she said, man, like that. Someone's gonna say that. Trust me if you don't wanna burn another screen. Mid-production. It's not fun. Got the ink mixed. Got my transparency. I want to line up my three color front too in a box because it's, you know, raining outside. A few extra containers and then the most important thing, fruit roll up. Um, yeah, let's load up the car, go to the new studio. 
I'm about to set up this three color front and gonna try to do it the easy way. So uh, we're gonna go to easy setup. We're gonna hit that. Basically what that means is it's gonna uh, raise the platen up to where it gives me very little off contact so that I can register all the screens to my transparency. All right, this is my white. So I'm gonna print my white screen first. Register that up to my transparency. All right, so basically I'm gonna get this lined up as close as I can manually. And then I'm gonna lock this in. Now I'm just gonna go over to the micros and start twisting those and get the screen uh, lined up with my transparency. I always have a hard time remembering the formula for adding discharge agent, so we're gonna throw it on the screen. So now we're on to the part, we're gonna add the discharge to the ink, mix it up, and then we're gonna throw it in the screens and start running this job. What's up everyone? Day two. Yesterday we had quite the day. Um, we, uh, you know, we printed a platen that had fresh glue on it. And uh, man, it is not as easy as this thing looks for sure. Um, we, uh, we figured it out. We had the screen pop, ink flew everywhere. We bent a platen, bent an arm on the press. Uh, it's okay. It can get fixed. Broke the platen off of the... And broke um, the platen off the press too. <laughs> but yeah, it was quite the day. We learned something, it's all good. Uh, you won't get a whole lot of those shots because Jared was a good videographer and I stopped recording because I was livid. Um, just being real, we, uh, yeah, we figured it out. It's day two, we're gonna get on it gonna print this three color front. I didn't record everything yesterday because I thought Jonathan might punch the camera out of my hand if I did. Um, but I did tell him that next time something like this happens, the camera stays rolling. So. I guess. Last few days didn't go as planned, but it's okay. We got through it. We got a nice finished product. As you can see, I'm wearing it. Washed it last night. Feels great, looks great. Uh, with this design, uh, you know, we were trying to think of all the things I wanted to teach you. And that didn't really go as planned, but at the end of the day, um, I went through some steps on how to print discharge, how to mix your inks, um, I wanted this design to be absolutely massive. I'm typically like the pocket print guy in a, in a decent size back. We did a massive print on the front 
and a massive print on the back. Um, we max out the press on just size wise um, to be able to flood the screen. We just maxed it out. Um, these came out sweet, super stoked on them. Uh, they're gonna be for sale. Um, by the time you see this video, they might be sold out. So we'll probably print some more. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned something today. Um, thanks again for following us. Uh, we're almost at 10K, that's pretty cool, uh, subscribers. If you like this video, share it, like it. What's Corey say, tickle the like button. If you can walk away from this video learning one thing, that one thing is slow down, take it easy. Yeah, you have an auto, it can go fast, but you can also mess up things pretty fast. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just take it slow. Learn your machine, you'll get it done eventually, right? See you in the next one. Mark. Jonathan, real quick. Yes. If anything does go wrong, what do you do to stop it from going wrong? But, oh, boom! Oh. See, just like that, it was so fast. And, and look, it, sto it, it stops everything. Ooh, that one. That's not right. See? That's cool. So what, what do you not do? Uh, index left. <laughs> <laughs>